Happy Easter, friends. I'm so glad that you were able to join me again today for the rest of our story. If you haven't yet had a chance to watch the stories for Maundy Thursday and Good Friday, the first two days of the great three days, the Holy Triduum, I invite you to go to our Grace Happens YouTube channel where you can watch those videos, the videos about Good Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. Once you've done that, come back here and to hear the end of the story, what happened on Easter morning. I'm going to be reading from the Spark Story Bible. I'm thankful to 1517 Media for permission to read this to you today. You can get your own copy at augsburgfortress.com. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Ah. They had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there. Brr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop, it was damp. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry. The angel said, go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof. Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. She looked up. Yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy, Go tell the others the good news that I am alive. Jesus said, I will meet them in Galilee. I can't wait to see them again. The women had a job to do. They had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive. That's the glorious story of Easter, that although Jesus was hung on a cross and died, God raised Jesus from the dead as a reminder of just how much God loves each and every one of us, and that we too will have life forever with God. Thanks for joining me this morning to hear the end of the stories for the great three days, the Holy Triduum. Happy Easter!